Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the pre-charge pump or the DSC traction control pump as uh, some people call it. This is giving me a fault on the screen. I'm going to show you what the fault looks like and then we're going to proceed with the replacement of this pump. Um, I have done this uh, once before and it has returned. I believe it's uh, to do with the car just sitting around and uh, not being driven. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get started. This is a location of the pre-charge pump. Uh, my car has a right side steering wheel and my uh, pump is on the right hand side. Um, it's connected with two brake lines and one um, electrical connector which is very easy to disconnect. It just slides on this rail here, just pull it out. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. There are a couple of, a couple of clips here at the back so just push on these and then pull it out. So this is the electrical side of things disconnected. Um, a couple of bolts here which you want to remove. These are 10 millimeter head bolts. The next thing to do is, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to drain some of this brake fluid and then I'm going to loosen these two 10 millimeter nuts here on the brake lines. You'll notice um, they're different uh, diameters so you can't really get, uh, get that wrong when you're connecting it back. Go ahead and place some rags around the tank here in case you spill some brake fluid. As you know brake fluid is corrosive and you don't want to ruin your paintwork. Basically get yourself a pair of pliers grab this here by the lip gently obviously be careful not to damage it and then pull it up then when you remove this little sieve then you'll be able to <coughs> extract most of the brake fluid from the container here i'm gonna use one of these large syringes If you have made any spillages like myself here on the paint, make sure you rinse this very quickly as you don't want this to uh, lift the paint off your strut towers. I like to keep these nice and rust free. So I've emptied the brake fluid tank off camera. Um, this took a few trays because it fills up and then you drain it and it fills up again a little bit but anyway it's more or less dry now um, or empty so <clears throat> what you have here is the pre-charge pump has a little um, so it has two pins that sits on underneath these just literally pull up so all I'm left to do is to disconnect these brake lines here just to let you know this is 11 millimeter knot not 10 as I said previously um, so loosen these gently I've loosened the thinner one and that's the thicker one of the two. Place a rag underneath just to catch again any oil spillages or any brake fluid spillages and just loosen the, the nuts. Make sure you gently screw these in by hand. Do not use any, any tools until the threads are catching because they're very, very fine and you can easily damage these. I 
install this metal bushing here. And that's the pump nearly installed. It's as simple as that. Now, add brake fluid. You can uh, add fresh fluid if you have. I'm going to use mine because I had uh, replaced it pretty much when I finished with the restoration. This is just a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just going to um, add the old fluid back in place. What I normally like to do is to filter the brake fluid again, obviously because I'm reusing the old one, which is not that old, only a few weeks old. So use a funnel, one of these paint filters, insert it in and then pour the liquid in. I did catch a bit of uh, debris there, so I'm glad I used the filter. The level is just below the maximum. I'll probably top it up as uh, most likely I'm going to need to bleed the system. But um, the main point of this video was just to show you how to disconnect and how to, how to install the pre-charge pump, which I've done. So there we go, this is how easy it is. I'm sure you can uh, manage on the side of the house or beside uh, your garage. You don't even have to be inside the garage in order to do this job. It's, it's something you can do outdoors. So there you go. Hope you find this helpful and I'll see you soon again. <music>